What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you some of the awesome tech that you can get for your car. I have a 2006 Ford Mustang, but the tech that I have in my car can also apply to your car. It works for many makes and models. I'll leave links in the video description below. If you're interested in any of the tech, check out the links. Some of the links support the channel. Also, I'm gonna leave some links in the video description below how to install some of this tech that's in, um, in my car. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. For you guys that have been asking for car tech videos and car mod videos, well, hopefully this video will definitely interest you and you'll like the video. So, part of the mess, I'm moving this week and it's a little chaotic for me. So let's go ahead and check out some of the tech that's in my car, or even outside my car. I'm gonna start off with the halo lights. Halo lights are great to make any car more modern looking. But what I really wanna focus on is the glow wire. Now, I was inspired by the Mercedes-Benz Glow Grill is $225. This kit is under $10. You could do this pretty much to any car that has a logo that's in the grill and connect it to your fuse box. I have mine connected to my parking light and uh, just turn on the lights and turns on the glow wire. I just wedged it in in the crease between the, the Mustang emblem and the frame and hot glued it. It was really easy to do. It took me less than 30 minutes and it's connected to the parking light. Another great thing to have is a jump pack. Well, for one, it's practical and for two, you might help someone on the side of the road. This one has a thousand cranking amps and built-in air compressor. Uh, these are extremely handy to have and they're under $100. This one has heavy-duty jump clamps and built-in air compressor so you just grab it it's portable connect it to your um, tire that's uh, low or flat and fill it up and you're on your way again another great thing to have or make you know, to make your car more modern looking is LED tail lights besides making your car more modern looking it's actually practical because people behind you can see your car better in the rain um, besides making your car more visible in the rain is that you don't have to change out the light bulb as much because LED lights last 20,000 hours, maybe even more. Um, another cool tech to have in your car is headrest monitors, especially you have kids to entertain. These headrest monitors are very inexpensive. You could get two for around $100 and you connect your headphones to the headrest monitors to listen to your audio so you're not disturbing anyone else. I got it connected to a kill switch, which uh, turns on and off the headrest monitors, and uh, my PlayStation 2 Slim, which is in the glove box. Now, the reason why I chose a PlayStation 2 Slim is because, well, I like PlayStation, and the PlayStation 2 Slim is the only thing that fits in my glove box and doesn't overheat. And I had it there for a few months, and it's been working great ever since. To get this all working, you need a power inverter. This is a 150 watt power inverter and it plugs into a cigarette lighter port. Make sure if you're using a PlayStation 2, 150 watt power inverter should be fine, but if you're using a PlayStation 3, you may want to consider upgrading. Uh, this is very inexpensive and you'll be able to play your video games in the back seat. Another great thing to have in your car is a touch screen car radio with a lot of features. Now, this one has Bluetooth features, built-in GPS, backup camera, of, of course, FM, AM radio, and has AV inputs, USB, charges your phone, uh, auxiliary in, plays CDs, DVDs, displays on the screen, uh, so many different features. You could actually get a, this one right here, you can have a backup camera. It has AV input, right now it's connected to my PlayStation 2, resolution is 480p. This is by far one of my favorite car tech that's in my car. Uh, this rear view mirror has a built-in DVR system. It just goes on over your existing rear view mirror. It has all my recordings, uh, weeks and weeks worth of video recordings, and you can access all the recordings straight off of the rear view mirror DVR system. You just hit play and you can check out all your video footage and actually has a built-in speaker and a built-in microphone so it records inside your car it doesn't record outside your car but it records all the audio inside your car which is uh useful if you're an uber uber driver you might find that really useful this is actually the backup camera 
uh, video footage, it records. Uh, so if someone crashes into you, whether it's the front of your car or the back of your car, you have that footage showing you what actually really happened. And it's extremely useful. So it's all accessible right off of the rear view mirror. And it, um, the resolution is 480p, 720p, and 1080p resolution. And you can even connect it to your rear reverse lights. So when you put it in reverse, it triggers the backup camera. I did an installation video if you want to check that out in the video description below. Another great thing to have is the OBD diagnostic tool. Just connect it under your dashboard. Most cars have this port. And make sure you have the Torque app. Uh, that's uh, available, I believe, for iPhone and uh, Android phones. You can check all your check engine light codes and reset them straight from your phone, which is amazing. It's a real-time monitoring. It monitors your fuel economy. It monitors your acceleration, RPMs, your coolant, your vacuum, your throttle, the speed. Um, if you're into racing, does your quarter mile, eighth mile, uh, zero to 60 time, misfires, fuel system monitors, uh, lets you know if your car battery is being charged by the alternator. If it's over 12 volts, then your alternator is charging your car battery. So this one, is, uh, you can see it's 14 volts, so I know it's charging my car battery. Uh, it's, yeah, it tells you your fuel gauge. If your fuel gauge is broken on your dashboard, <laughs> you can use your phone to view your fuel gauge and your miles per gallon. Another great thing to have in any car is a powered subwoofer. It saves space and it sounds great in your car. And it's under $200. It's an amplifier and a subwoofer built into one and it slides under any car seat. I had that for two years, no problems. All right, here's the remote for it. Let's go ahead and test it out. So this is without the bass and this is with the bass. So there is a big difference. If you have actually have a good pair of headphones, I highly suggest plugging a great pair of headphones in, or if you have sound system in your computer. Um, yeah, so you'll definitely be able to hear a difference. So guys, if this video really interests you or in informed you or, or was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. And if you know anyone that's into cars and loves car tech, Go ahead and click on the share button, share this video to them. And yeah, click on my playlist right here or down below. Uh, check out my car playlist that I created for you guys um, to show you guys how to install some of this car tech in your car. Later guys, thanks for watching.